Terra Hawks, stay on this channel. This is an emergency. Right here. You can start loading the Overlander. All right. Where does all this go? Who knows? You could try asking the driver. <laughs> Except there isn't one. lovely zeroids simmer down. As we all know, a zeroid is programmed to tell the truth at all times. That's a lie for a start. <laughs> all right, all right. There are ways around that particular circuit, but the situation is grave. Dr. Einstein is on to us. We need to convince him that like George Washington, we cannot tell a lie. I I'm going to face he who must be obeyed right now. Ah, uh, Zero, there you are. So, waiting for your word of command, sir. This report, Zero, bravery in the face of the enemy, the outstanding courage of the Sergeant Major, staring into the jaws of death, Zero didn't flinch. Yes, sir. Zero, you were out on maneuvers, not fighting the Battle of Waterloo. Yes, sir. At best, this is a wild exaggeration. And at worst, it... Lie, sir? Impossible, sir. Absolutely not, sir. All right. But if I ever find out you or any other Zeroid isn't telling the truth, I'll reprogram the lot of you. It's loaded and ready to roll. Is the package aboard? Yeah. I had to hire this car. It'll cost you another hundred. You'll be paid in full. Hello. Let me give you a word of advice. Take off that stupid mask or oh. you'll be stopped by the police. You can come out now, Pluto.
a mask, why would I want to hide my handsome features? Mother is right. All earthlings are ugly idiots. It's all too easy. We will follow the overlander and discover the terror hawk stinking lair. <laughs> The stupid pea brain son of mine has failed once more. He's stuck in something called mud. Something called mud. Fortunately, my plan proceeds. Einstein's little surprise package is on its way. <laughs> For lift off. Ready for lift off. Seven minutes. Ten ten. Overflying rendezvous. There it is. Right on the button. Take her down, Mary. Ten ten. Out there, Zero, and start unloading. So, how did this get here? On board the Overlander, sir. Has it been checked out? Yes, sir. Safety scan negative. Hmm. Well, I want it checked again. So, yeah. expect the unexpected. Where's the Overlander now? On its way back to the depot, sir. Get out of sight. What the? 
What are you doing back here? We could not follow the overlander. Well, so what do you want from me now? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, what, 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 what are you? I am an android, and you are expendable. Ah! Pluto? <laughs> Get him out of sight. You reran the checks? All negative, sir. Well, <clears throat> let's see what's in here. What is it, Tiger? <clears throat> Flowers. Who are they from? Well, there's no note. A secret admirer. Interesting. Bring them to the table. Dinner's ready. I feel, I know, success is at hand. What's on the menu, Mary? Well, as a starter... Crab's Claws. Fantastic. <laughs> bon appétit. My favorite dish, a little wine, and the company of a beautiful lady. Is that in order of preference? Mary. <gasps> Eat. Yes, ma'am. Sergeant Major, uh, w w wake up. I'm not asleep, lad. Just thinking how I would run Terror Hawks if I was in command. You m m may have to. What's happened? It's do do Dr. Einstein and m m Miss Falconer. Spit it out, lad, spit it out. I think they're de de dead. Dead? The clone and the woman have been eliminated at last. Victory is almost within my grasp. <laughs> Change your Try another take straight away, please. We're going again, Miss Kestrel. Sorry, Stu, I have to leave. Leave? I mean, what? Oh, man, I mean, that's amazing, man. I mean, that's, um, <laughs> that's just incredible, man. What's happening, Stu? What's happening, man? Okay, right. What's happening is. It, 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 she's done it again. Miss Kestrel, she just, she just walked out. Well, that's show business for you. I. I cannot believe. This has happened. It's a tragedy. Dr. Einstein and Mary. For you, it was amour. <laughs> Miss Kestrel and Ziorkai are en route to Orknest. Have 
radar contact, Hawkeye. Ten, ten. Let's go. Did it happen? We, we don't know, Mom. The food's being checked for poison. Zelda. Somehow she's behind this. Perfect. Perfect. All that remains is for young Star and his fighting force to storm the dreaded hawk nest. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. Why don't you glue that thing to your scalp? <laughs> the mighty wagon is back. We will all climb aboard and it will take us to the Terror Hawk stinking lair. <laughs> Show yourselves, devoted ones. Goodness gracious me. Most interesting. What is it, Dr. Killjoy? The food samples contain no poison whatever, but I am finding traces of a rare space pollen. Well, what's it mean? It means... That all may not be lost. Come quickly, mon patron. What is it, Dixie Witt? Miss Kestrel and the Orkai, they have collapsed. Is he dead? No, 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 no. As I suspected, he is in a deep coma-like sleep. I think you will find the others are all jolly well the same. Framing thunderbolts! They're alive! Space pollen. Get those flowers out of here. Why didn't you put a deadly poison in the package, Zelda? Or a great big bomb? Because, you simpering simpleton, even the stupid clone Einstein would have detected a bomb. No, the subtle toxin from the pollen will keep them sleeping long enough for young star to strike. Now then, all humans is horsey combat. That is to say, out of action. Zidalor. Quite right. It is up to we Zeroids. This could be our finest hour. The answer lies at the Overlander Depot. And this is my battle plan. We fly in the Battle Hawk to a point 15 miles from the target. From there, we proceed aboard Hudson. We go in at dawn. My head down here is being squashed. Shut up. You ready, Hudson? One moment, Sergeant Major. Ready. Then, start We're under attack! Defend me! We are pinned up, Petrov. You mean pinned down, you airy face horror? But he was right. We will be cut to pieces. Shut up, you... What would I give for one battle tank? Wait a minute. The Overlander. Did you it? Program the Overlander. I will try that one. You 
you this once. What's the antidote for that space pollen? You don't need an antidote. They will awaken naturally. You better be right. Mother! Help! Yes, gun. Yes. As Dr. Einstein would say, Zelda reclaims her own. Let's get back to base. <laughs> Have I got a story to tell? Yes, sir. And that is how we Zeroids, with my humble self in command, saved the day. But you was unconscious, saw. Dozens of cubes pinned down by a hail of fire, programming the Overlander. It's true, sir. It's true. A Zeroid cannot tell a lie. Zero. Get out of here. And that's an order. So. Mm. With that man, you can never win. <laughs> 